What's up, guys? Your boy says they're back at again the brand new video. And today, it's been a long, 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 long time coming. This has been the first ever series I've ever done on the channel. You know, the ones with, like, episodes and stuff. And today, we are here with me basketball, the revival series. Now, things are going to be a little bit different. You can even tell just by the team name right there. Things are going to be different from last time. Now, you guys know last me basketball was 2020. We had the teams, you had the kiddie characters, fun, sick. When I decided making this game, it was going to be kind of like a kind of like a mirror of some of the old characters. I know I did use a crap ton of actual people, which I tried to at least avoid for the most part because, you know, that would literally ruin the whole point of meme because it's literally a real character. Unless that character is a meme legitimately. But I feel like to be the best, I think I should just show you who we're working with here. So on team, Kentucky Fried Chicken. This is the mirror to McDonald's, All-American. We have Colonel Sanders. Now, he's a real character or he's a fake character, depending on who you are. He's actually a real character, but the stats you can easily tell is not based on the real him. Now, we, he's sitting at six foot tall, six seven. He's 26 years old, 99 overall with multiple badges, almost maxed out badges. But not really. They're actually like bronze and silver mostly, but, you know, he has them. Number two on this team, we got Mr. Phil Swift himself, you know. I don't know, it's just, when I was thinking of memes, I was thinking, hmm. Because I was, I was really like, hmm, who would be a good person? Because he was like one of the last people I've discovered or like added onto here. And I was like, yeah, you know what, you know, it's, you know, it's, it's something, you know what I'm saying? It's Phil Swift, he's still mean to this day. He's not as big as he used to be back in like 2022, 2023, and stuff like that. Or even like 2019, because I know he's popular then too. But, you know, he's still something, you know, we got to get a meme character. Again, real or fake, depending on how you look at it. He's real, obviously real, but yeah. And of course, we got a little drop top. Now, again, like, when it got to him, it was like, I need a, like, a version of Supreme Patty I can use. You know, even though he's not his mirror at all. If anything, he's actually supposed to be the mirror to uh, Fleet Johnson. But... You know, he's he has more of a Supreme Batty build. He's sitting at 81 overall. Three points scoring. He's his main thing, you know. Again, literally, like, almost the same as I, how I made Supreme Patty back in the day, but, like, lower overall. And, yeah, this is a team. I, you asked me why I put this team together. I couldn't ask you why. The, the real reason is Colonel Sanders. I just need two other people. And I decided, mm, why not these two? On team... Goon Squad. We got Mr. Big Dick Randy himself. We almost, like, when he took over Halloween, not only last year, Halloween, but almost the two Halloweens before that, too. Literally the biggest Halloween thing of all time. I can't believe I was actually one of the first people actually listened to the song. You know, it was sick, amazing. And I decided, hmm, I need someone who needs to be, someone you can represent as Goonie. So, you know, who else to do is Big Dick Randy. He's a seven foot big. He's going to ram inside. All, all of his stats are going to be based off of the lore behind him. You know, he's a driver. You, you guys know he takes cheats and then he's gone. Which also the reason why he's a he has maxed out stealing and badges for stealing is Hall of Fame. You know. And then we got Mr. A Train. Now, I do not know. I was just figuring out something. But then when I looked at the user, well, I was trying to create a character. I was, he again, he was like one of, like, I'm talking like last two people I came up with. The reason why I chose him, I looked at the NBA usernames. And I was thinking, wait, A-Train is one of the, uh, not usernames, but like nicknames. So I was like, hmm, which team would A-Train work best on? I was like, Goon Squad. I mean, if you watch the boys, it's fire. I know like the recent seasons has been kind of like diverting from the, uh, the original formula, you know, with Frenchie coming gay and all these other things. It's just, it, it's still watchable. Me, I still watch every season. It's episode. It's still good in my eyes, even though there is a lot of things they don't do anymore. But one thing they still continue doing is the gore and sexual content. And I was like, hmm. One of the first scenes of HF we ever seen was him in literally like a place where like superheroes do like a whole bunch of sex and drugs. So I mean. Goon Squad works best. And then, last but not least, we got a Simon the Slayer original, Mr. Goon, Dr. Goonmeister himself. His real name is Leroy Goon Monster. Goon Meister. Crazy. And his location or place of origin is East West London. I do not know why I 
well i do because uh, i just needed somebody and i literally made him on the fly unlike the other simmons original character we're gonna see later but again he is far for you know he has he, he, you're gonna see him play the game and you're gonna think he should not have these skills because that's really what i was going for it's like he's the shortest person but again i'm not gonna try to spoil anything but you're gonna see his skills you'll be like why does he have this all right, next team, we have the Kool-Aid Jammers. Now, this team was supposed to, like, combat Bape, or Modded Supreme, Modded Supreme, depending on which one you prefer to call it. Now, we have Mr. Eminem, a.k.a. the Rap God. I tried to do Slim Shady, but I was like, this is 2K. Everyone does rappers, and I decided to just download them rather than make them myself. And of course, I don't really know much about his skill, but I do see three point making. I'm pretty sure he's gonna be more of a handles and shooting guy. Reason why I have done favorite rapper of all time, been that way since like three years old, basically since I've been conscious. And it has never changed. He's always been my favorite. You could say he's kind of fell off a bit, you know, especially that recent song with like, oh, people trying to cancel me. Eminem, you're uncancelable. No one could cancel you, literally. <laughs> like no no one can cancel you like at all. I don't know why he made that song, but I guess. Next we have Mr. Captain Crunch. Now I was thinking I need a food mascot. You know it, it's the Kool Aid Jammers. I need something kids enjoy. I can't do Cinnamon Toast Crunch. I thought about the Reese's Rapper guy, but that was after I already done made him, and I was like I don't have any more space on the team, so fuck. And of course we can't have two serial mascots, so. I was like, I'm too lazy to make the Reese's Rapper guy. He may come in through the series. I'm trying to do this a series different where I do add characters as we go on, potentially. So, I mean, if he comes, he comes. Like Kind of like I did Fleece Johnson back in the uh, the main basketball 2020 where I literally add him in the fourth episode rather than having him in the beginning. But, yeah. And last but not least, we got Mr. Takashi 69 I do not know why I add. Well, I do. Here's the reason why I added this guy. He's colorful. He's controversial. He's kind of a meme when it comes to, like the rat snitching and all this stuff. And then he calls him getting jumped in Planet Fitness. He's pretty much a meme at this point. And I was like, well, this is a meme basketball. And I'm going to add somebody real. They have to have some type of, you know, meme concept to them. So that's why I added Sekashi 6 9 I don't. I, I he was six feet when i first created him i didn't know, know that i turned him back to five seven his actual height and uh as you see he's 77 overall because most of the time i do not think this nigga can play basketball at all even if we use his meme status the only meme status of him that I actually boosted was stealing you know because rats <laughs> that, 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 that's really the, the only thing he really has going for him realistically but yeah that's that's cool like jammers next we have louis vuitton Y'all already know what this is going against. This is going against Gucci, you know? Of course, last time I put Guap Gucci main, which I know when I saw the video, I was like, oh, shit, I forgot this guy, even though I literally added him solely because of the fact that his name contained Gucci in it. But this, of course, you already know. Let me get into the details of why I add these characters. Kendrick Lamar. Gucci on the first game had Drake in it. Drake versus Kendrick Beef. Perfect. I mean, it happened, you know? But then we have... Lore accurate Michael Jordan. I need a lore accurate character just to be fucking funny. And I was like, huh. It was between LeBron James and Michael Jordan. All I did was just search up lore accurate. And Michael Jordan was the first person, so I just chose him. I would have chose LeBron because you are my sunshine. But like, you know, I, I guess Michael Jordan had to do because LeBron is already in the game. So there's no point of adding LeBron as already a Lakers guy. And then adding LeBron again as lore accurate, it doesn't make sense. I decided to put Michael Jordan. Because even the GOAT debate, you know, LeBron James or Michael Jordan. I personally believe Michael, well, not Michael, LeBron James is the GOAT. So because of statistics, I mean, he played longer, he's played while well older. And even in like 41, he's still doing big numbers. So that's why I believe LeBron James is the GOAT, if, that, if you ever want my opinion on that. And last but last least, we got... Little Sweeney Vert, another Simmons Slayer original character. He's supposed to be the mirror to Bobby. As I said before, Bobby was a wrestling character I made all the way back in like, when we made as like the brothers. 
back in like 2018, 2019. I forgot what wrestling game it was. But of course, I was like, hmm, I need to make some more trash. I've always had a little screen for as an idea. Like, I'm talking like 2021. But I never really had the way of like inserting. Because the interesting thing with me is I have a lot of like OCs, you could say, that I never really post on the channel because of well, cringe and all the other things, you know, I'm not trying to be one of those ew guys, but you know, I decided, hmm, why not put them in the game, you know, fuck them up a bit, you know what I'm saying, and uh, yeah, this is what we have, we have 7 foot 7, 30 feet, again, he's, his rival is, uh, fuck, I forgot his name, hold up, actually, no, no, I, 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 I got it, I got this, hold up, no, we're, we're, we're going back, uh, what the hell, he is the rival to Goonmeister. There you go. It's such a stupid name. I don't know how I forgot it, but I'm a little bit winded. So, you know what I'm saying? I don't know why I did that. I just did. But, yeah, his scats are fucking atrocious. Well, they're not supposed to be atrocious. I see, like, he's supposed to be, like, again, you're, you're going to see that his skills doesn't make sense when you see in the game. But, apparently, he is supposed to be the worst created character of all of them. He's just supposed to be good because... He's better than the average players. Put him against an, like a creative character. He's fucked type guy. And do I have any other teams? Oh yes, the light team ultimate light skin. This was literally the first team who I got. We came up with the first characters for, and uh, we have Kumala, Sylvester, and Claudio Deagle. Now you might be asking, Simi, why are all their last names Dingle? They're the if you know anything about the meme, they don't have last names. You know, that's that they don't have last names. So I kind of just decided to name them all after Dingle because Quandale is the only one with the last name. And of course, as you can see, this is the ultimate light skin team. They're all light skins, you know, part of lore. Again, I probably will be adding more characters to this team, like Chesta, for example. Probably Giga Chad, too. Again, that's if I decide to feel like it, decide to continue for it. These niggas need no introduction at all. These are supposed to be the most broken people in the game. Quan Deagle might not have the badges. Trust me, when you see his gameplay, he's going to be fucking killing everybody. All right, and that is the last team right here. We have N1 Street Ball. Now, this team has no meme culture to it whatsoever. I just decided to put these niggas in because I was like, video game, video game, play together, makes sense. We have Mr. Mario Mario. We have Waluigi Papadopoulos. Which, yes, that is his actual canon last name. And then we have Luigi Mario. If you've seen the movie, you know why these niggas' names are last name Mario. Why did I add this team? Well, I needed a video game in-game reference. It's supposed to be like the Avengers, like, collision. So, essentially... Oh, no, it wasn't It wasn't the Avengers. This team is supposed to rival the Eagles, Philadelphia. And uh, that was football. I don't know anything about any other sports i know about soccer but it doesn't make sense and i was like mm, you know what let's do street ball you already have these three they, they, they've already been in the street ball game before literally the colors is literally meant to represent the game they're in uh street street v3 so I, that's what i call it it was i played on the gamecube you got like mario peach and luigi and uh this is why they're on the game because they actually have some type of basketball experience I may have cut their verticals, but if I do do that in the next video, I will change that. And that's for is all the teams that you need to know of.